can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this cube root of 99 minus 70 times square root of 2, how can you rewrite this in the form of x minus y times square root of 2? And that is the question. Now pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. Now if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. But if you don't get the correct solution and answer, watch this video. And here's the solution in 3, 2, 1. So our goal in this question is to simplify or to rewrite cube root of 99 minus 70 times square root of 2 in the form of x minus y times square root of 2. So what we're going to do here is to get this equation and let's cube on both sides. So the reason is to eliminate this cube root. So now the left hand side is just 99 minus 70 times square root of 2. Now the right hand side, we will use Pascal's triangle to expand x minus y times square root of 2 raised to the power of 3. So using the Pascal's triangle, the first layer 1 is, says that a minus b raised to the power of 0 is 1. The second, the numerical coefficient of a minus b raised to the power of 1 is a minus b. So 1 and 1. Now, the coefficient of a minus b raised to the power of 2 is just a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So we have 1 here, we have 2, we have 1. But the only difference when we have a minus b, the sign is alternating. We have positive, we have positive here, we have negative, we have positive, and so on and so forth. So if we get a minus b raised to the third power, we have a cubed positive minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared minus b cubed. So using this, we can now expand x minus y times square root of 2 raised to the power of 3. And if we do that, we get this expansion. Now, we need some room for our solution, so let's focus on this result. And then, let's simplify a little bit. 3x times 2y squared. This will give us 6xy squared. And then, what we're going to do is to rearrange some terms a little bit. We need to have the term that doesn't have a square root of 2 and the term with square root of 2. So now let's combine them like this. So quantity x cubed plus 6xy squared. This term doesn't have square root of 2, a factor of square root of 2. And this part have a factor of square root of 2. Now let's focus on this result and let's see why we do that. Now the reason for doing this is to compare the left hand side and the right hand side. Now this term 99 doesn't have square root of 2. So we can say that x cubed plus 6xy squared equals 99. And 3x squared y squared plus 2y cubed is 7t. Now using these two equations, our goal now is to solve for x and y because that's the main goal. And the question is how to do that. Now one method, one strategy, is to make this constant the same. So when we subtract the two equations, we don't have any constant. And that is equal to 0. So we need to multiply the first equation by 70. And the second equation by 99. And take note, 99 times 70 is the same thing as 70 times 99. So if we subtract these two equations, we get equal to 0. Or the constant is just 0. So if we subtract these two equations, we have something like 70x cubed minus 297x squared y plus 420xy squared minus 198y cubed equals 0. Now let's focus on this result. What we're going to do here is to divide all of this term by y cubed. And why we do that? Here's the reason. Y x cubed over y cubed, we can write this as x cubed x over y raised to the part, third power. x squared y divided by y cubed, we have x squared over y squared or simply x over y raised to the power of 2. x y squared divided by y cubed will give us x over y and y cubed divided by y cubed is 1. Notice we have a common term of x over y. So this tells us that we need to replace this with another variable. Now let's use t. So let t equals x over y. So all of this x over y becomes t. 
like this. Now let's focus on this result. So we have a cubic equation in terms of t. Now, the goal is to find the value of t. But don't forget that x and y are real number, so t here is a real number also. And to find or to get the solution to this cubic, though we have a cubic formula or the Cardano's method, what we're going to do here to solve for the value of t, real value of t, is to use the rational root theorem. So we want the factors of 198 over 70. And there's a lot of factors of 198 over 70. But in this video, of course, we will use the correct answer. So all, for all of those factors, we have this answer 3 over 2. So first, let's get the coefficient 70, negative 297, 420, and 198. And again, the answer is 3 over 2. So, let's perform the synthetic division, bring down 70. 70 divided by 2 times 3 will give us 105. Negative 297 plus 105 is negative 192. Negative 192 times 3 over 2, this will give us negative 288. 420 minus or plus negative 288 is 132. 132 times 3 over 2, this is positive 198. And if we add these two together, we have a remainder of zero. Now, this tells us that t is 3 over 2. So, 3 over 2 is a solution to this equation. And it also tells us that 2t minus 3 is a factor of this cubic equation. Now, using some factoring techniques, we can factor out this cubic since we know the first factor, 2t minus 3. We can factor this out as 2t minus 3 multiplied by 35t squared minus 96t plus 66 equals to 0. Now, we have a quadratic term. If we use the discriminant to find out the possible values of t, we found out that the discriminant is a negative. So, we don't get any real value of t in this quadratic term. Thus, the only real value of t that satisfies this equation is t3 over 2. But we don't care to the value of t, we care to the value of x and y. So since t is also equal to x over y, we can say that x over y simply equal to 3 over 2. Now don't forget, in this question, we want the values of x and y. Now since we have x over y equals 3 over 2, we can easily say, we can say that x equals 3 can be equals 3 and y can be equal to 2. But again, using this relationship, you can now easily find the values of x and y. So you get x equals 3y over 2, replace all of this y by with x in this formula, then equate to 99, then solve for the value of x. But in this video, let's make this simple. So pretend that x equals 3 and y equals 2. Now, if we replace all x and y with 3 and 2, 3 cubed plus 6 times 3 times 2 squared, we get, if we simplify this, we get 99, which is this expression. And if we replace x with 3, y, and 2, this expression simply equal to, that's correct, this is 7t. Therefore, without anything, without doing some algebra, we found out that x equals 3 and y equals 2. This means that we can rewrite cube root of 99 minus 70 times square root of 2 as 3 minus 2 times square root of 2. And this is our final answer to this question. And as always, we are done.